The idea was from the director. Uh, he had, uh, of course, the idea of making a film about this uh, uh, catastrophe or this terror attack in Norway was uh, going on growing for a while. But then um, uh, the, uh, the director had to find his way to do it. Uh, and uh, and uh, when he found a way to do it, to tell the story through the victims, uh, we started to, to, we saw that that was a possible way to, to tell such a horrible uh, story. I think when normally we, when we tell stories about uh, actions or attacks like this, we, we tend to focus on the, on the attacker. Uh, very seldom on the victims and actually I think uh, it's uh, important to to have that point of view because uh, to, to bring that to the audience uh, that we can uh, it, you can all very sudden become a victim in a, in a extreme terrorist attack it's not uh, something that happens uh, to other people but uh, it can happen to you as well uh, and I think that was the, the key to, to see that uh, not the focus on the attacker but on the victims. And also I think that when we, or we think that uh, when you look at an incident or an attack like this in, uh, uh, after a few years, uh, you, you ask uh, the questions why didn't you do something else uh, when you you know it was only one guy why didn't you do that and I think it's so easy for the for the audience and for for all the people to to think that there is so easy to to do something to be a hero or do something but and we forget to to that you are there are no heroes in a situation like that Uh, I started working with the director for in uh, in actually in 1991. Then he was uh, he was a DOP, uh, and uh, and uh, we made the first feature together to with another director. He, and he was a that was his uh, debut as a DOP, and that was my debut as a as a producer and the debut for the for the director. It, it, film called Eggs. We, we had it in Cannes in 1995. And then um, the director, uh, Eric Poppe, wanted to be a director and I, uh, I worked together with him on all his uh, feature films. And this is the, uh, let me see, the fifth uh, feature we are doing together. I'm, um, I'm always working together with him uh, from the beginning uh, in the development of the script, uh, al already on the on the idea of the of the of the movie, uh, we have done that for all the movies. Uh, so we work together in a triangle with the, uh, the with him as a director, uh, the scriptwriter, and uh, and me collaborating. But I'm uh, as uh, as the eyes of the producer in that triangle. We were not discussing the the one uh, the one shot uh, the long shot at the moment, but we were uh, this we have always uh, this working with uh, telling stories in a very subjective way from one one point of view, and uh, but we thought when uh, that this uh, situation to 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 even to make the make uh, make it even more realistic. Uh, the one shot was uh, the only solution to do it uh, because we wanted to sort of like trap the audience into being in the same 
positions as uh, as uh, the victims uh, uh, or the the young people on the on the Utah island uh, uh, and not be able to uh, cut away from their the their uh, claustrophobic uh, and horrified situation to do to something else like you can do when you are uh, doing in a more traditional uh, film language uh, way as um, I always work uh, Eric and I always work together and uh, we have strong loyalty to to each other's project I trust Eric uh, very much for his uh, skills as a uh, both his technical skills, since he has been trained as a DOP, but also his uh, directional skills. Uh, uh, so I was uh, behind him on the idea, but there was two two things that we were we agreed that we had to have in place, and that was uh, that um, we should talk to the organizations of the of the victims that uh, they should. Uh, not they don't did not have to support the movie, but uh, they will not uh, go against it. And also the the uh, social democratic uh, youth organization. We needed to present the project for them, and have uh, their uh, sort of like uh, acceptance of the existence of the project. Part of the development of the film, we had um, three uh, consultants uh, that worked with us uh, as, uh, and the consultants were victims, survivors from the Utoya. So they were uh, part of the project the whole time. And, uh, and um, we, um, uh, to, to be as correct and accurate as possible, we did a lot of research on uh, interviewed a lot of survivors and uh, also to get their story to to be able to to uh, uh, write the script the fiction story and uh, but as close as possible after of before the release in norway we uh, had a tour of screenings in uh, in norway to all the for all uh, survivors uh, of Uta, they were invited to see it before it was released commercially in uh, in the theaters if the film cannot uh, even get close to how it must have been to be in the actual situation uh, some of the response from the from uh, the survivors uh, before they saw the movie was uh, I don't think this is good but after seeing the movie they say it has helped me to uh, for other people to understand the situation I was in mm, yes uh, it was because uh, I think the the horror of this uh, situation is uh, it's uh, uh, very much the claustrophobic, uh, not knowing it. Uh, it's very much on a psychological uh, level uh, to have uh, to uh, if we had had more blood and uh, and uh, it would could uh, more easily turn into a more traditional horror movie. And we wanted to uh, avoid that. We wanted to keep it as a drama. The, they are all uh, amateurs, not experienced uh, actors. Uh, uh, we, um, and uh, we had uh, long rehearsals, uh, uh, both uh, in, uh, in more rehearsal stages. Uh, and uh, and then uh, we slowly mix that to move that together and then and then um, uh, suddenly it grows uh, more uh, more uh, realistic for them uh, to do it uh, when we went to the island and we all put it together there and and the shots and everything <coughs> was uh, was uh, was of course affecting them in, uh, in, in a way. Yeah. 
I think it's a, it's not just a movie about uh, Norway. I think it's a movie about uh, um, uh, uh, what what uh, uh, li- uh, right or left or uh, religious extremism can lead to, and uh, and that we are even with the with small just a, like we are moving just one small step at a time it can end up in a very horrible situation so i think that is the signal for the movie to make or the statement of the movie to make that uh, that uh, even if like it's uh, uh, seven years since the the the, the attack uh, we see that uh, radicalism is coming back and it's coming more and more and it's uh, being more and more accepted by uh, by uh, uh, all people and uh, and that is uh, sort of the warning of the movie no we were not uh, we were not uh, we did not know about that but we, we uh, during the process, we, we learned that uh, that uh, he was uh, going to shoot it because he wanted to use so much of our uh, <laughs> our background material and uh, and, <laughs> and uh, locations and uh, <laughs> everything. So we learned about that. Uh, so that was a bit of competition. Uh, and we think that it was uh, important uh, that the first movie about uh, Udaya should be a Norwegian movie. It was important for us to, to uh, release, uh, to shoot the movie and release it before COVID rest.